high. We continue with hope. The hope of John. We're going to read from the Gospel of John. John chapter 4, verse 22. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, because salvation originates with the Jews. I have been reading all my text from the New World Translation. That particular verse I'd like to read to you from the New American Standard. You worship that which you do not know. We worship that which we know. For salvation is from the Jews. So just a question. Uh, is that not still true today? That salvation is from the Jews uh, in the sense of who are the writers of the New Testament, of the whole Bible? If we think about that, we have to realize that all of the official witnesses are Jews. Uh, there's only one book in the Bible that is not written by a Jew, and even he does not claim to be a witness. He claims to interview witnesses, Luke. So we have to ask whether or not God has, has changed his, his mind in respect to who his witnesses are in Isaiah chapter 43. So we'll just review that verse, which is very familiar to all of you. In Isaiah 43.10, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. This one was used when we were talking earlier about the hope of Israel and the witnesses in context it's very obvious that we're talking about the nation of Israel. So, are they still the witnesses, uh, the chosen witnesses of God? Now we're going to read from John chapter 10, 11, and 12. This is why the Father loves me, because I surrender my soul in order that I may receive it again. No man has taken it away from me, but I surrender it of my own initiative. I have authority to surrender it, and I have authority to receive it again. The commandment on this I received from my Father. Therefore many of the Jews that had come to Mary, and that beheld what he did, put faith in him. But some of them went off to the Pharisees, and told them the things that Jesus did. Consequently, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the Sanhedrin together and began to say, What are we to do, because this man performs many signs? If we let him alone this way, they will all put their faith in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. But a certain one of them, Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, You do not know anything at all, and you do not reason out that it is to your benefit for one man to die in behalf of the people, and not for the whole nation to be destroyed. This, though, he did not say of his own originality, but because he was the high priest that year. He prophesied that Jesus was destined to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but in order that the children of God who are scattered about, he might also gather together in one. Therefore from that day on they took counsel to kill him. But although he had performed so many signs before them, they were not putting faith in him, so that the word of, the, of Isaiah the prophet was fulfilled, which he said, Jehovah, who has put faith in the, in the thing heard by us. I'm going to say that again, sorry. Jehovah, who has put faith in the thing heard by us. And as for the arm of Jehovah, to whom has it been revealed? The reason why they were not able to believe is that, again, Isaiah said, He has blinded their eyes 
and he has made their hearts hard, that they should not see with their eyes and get the thought with their hearts and turn around and I should heal them. So in this particular passage, always take note of of the number of people who are Jews here because this is oftentimes a confusion point I think of many who they think the Jews rejected Jesus but in this text the chief priests and the Pharisees are concerned that the Jewish people are all gonna follow him so we have to take note that there's different kinds of people all Jewish reacting differently to Jesus but it also points out that this is the purpose of God to save the nation and to save all of us was that this should happen to Jesus so the Bible canon uh, is the Jewish witness and it closes at the time of Jesus it closes with the first witnesses after that uh, there's there's no Gentile Bible it closes as a Jewish Bible 